The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in it together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Caldera Street Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. on the page. What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Dying in this alley, 
in a dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows blocked my way. Stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside.
The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo.
Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. The FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. trail continued deeper into darkness. The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new location for the story. to be 
on this case. The cold can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. I had a new idea, a new story thread. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence, their twisted Bible. The water was gone. The way forward was open. I've been trying to shape the dark place from 
around me, but so much fades away. Even my memory of the process, washed away by dark waves. But some things remain. The darkest, nastiest elements. Like the murder site. It's my goal. A stepping stone to travel deeper to escape. Write a narrative that takes me there. Casey will lead me to it. Hello. Oh, hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. The plot element I found would drive the story forward.
to reality. opened on the side. Come on, ma'am. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. A sick and twisted story. But it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. Something hidden here, a phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Thank you. 
The Echoing Hall had a story to tell. I had a new scene to use, a new setting. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. story beat fit the story perfectly. Yes, this thread will create something terrible in the city, but it's what the story needed.
I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside. Parliament Tower, where I'd lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Who was riding who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier.
the station had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. The edge of the plaza was ringing again. Hey, Alan. Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story?
Alice's photo equipment. Set to go off when the door opens. photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Part one, what was Alice working on? years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. He always 
did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing it. 